Put it in the turbo. I asked around the makers on YouTube Facebook page what I should build this weekend and everyone said it should be a forge. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so I've cut a couple of notches out here, and there's actually a tool that's made to do just that, but I don't have one, so I've got to use a hacksaw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these in, and that should frame my bricks nicely. Now have a look at what, what's happened here. This is too tight in the corner. So what I'm gonna have to do is drill a relief hole and then maybe I can bring these in completely. There's my floor, I'm gonna make a front for it and tack it together and then we'll put the legs on it and continue the build. Here's the frame for my floor and these bricks will make that floor. Now I think the next thing I'm gonna do is just put legs on this. Okay, so I don't trust the fire brick to have any strength at all, so I want to make sure there's a complete floor underneath it. So I cut out a piece of plate steel to uh, fill in the floor. Now I'm going to weld that in, and I've cut these four legs. I've cut them at a 10 degree angle with a 10 degree rake. That means they will slope away from the center of the rectangle here. And uh, I've got four of them. Let's hope I get them all aligned the right way. <laughs> Just see how that turned out. Ha <laughs> ha! It didn't even rock, not a bit. Now we need to build the walls, and all I'm going to do is make an angle iron framework, and we'll just set the bricks in place. And here's where I'm talking about using a weed burner as the heat source for this forge. And uh, naturally, I forgot to turn the uh, camera microphone on, so uh, we didn't get any audio of that. But uh, who wants to hear a bunch of drilling anyway, right? And rather than fire up the plasma cutter to cut the hole into the floor, I just uh, decided to break out the cutting torch because it was handy and easy. And here I fit the torch into the floor of the unit and uh, all it needs is a little uh, cross piece installed to tie the handle to and I'll uh, weld that in later. Now what I got to do is make a framework to kind of hold all these bricks in place. And uh, we'll just uh, we'll just square the uh, the corner here, tack it in place, and then move on to the next corner. Now I've got my walls and ceiling in. We'll just put the roof on. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Weld that in place. That's looking pretty good. All that remains is to wire up the actual furnace nozzle, and I'm just going to wire that on with the clamp maker and uh, make a, uh, a little catch to hold the trigger down when you want to turn up the heat. All right. Just wrap the wire around the handle. Wrap it around what we're attaching it to. Put the clamp maker in the loop. Wrap the wires around the, the uh, roll pin. Twist them sometimes. Because I'm gonna this is a permanent installation. So I want this to get really, really tight. All right, 
That is really tight. All right. Fold the clamp maker over. Let it drop off. That thing is not going anywhere. That is solid. Now I need to make some sort of a trigger lock and we can fire it up. All right. Put it in the turbo. Well, that turned out all right, and that thing only cost me about 50 bucks. I gave 20 for the weed burner, 20 for the fire brick, and all that steel I got for 10 bucks over at the steel yard. It was a bunch of remnants. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, now, uh, what to do with it? I'm gonna have to loan it to one of my friends over at the Folsom Forge because uh, I don't have space for it here. But uh, if, as long as it's at their house, they'll buy the gas and I can go use it anytime I want. So that'll be pretty good. Anyway, that's all for this week. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.